And right now they do as the puck comes out to Billy Quinlan right out of the penalty box taken there now by Beck. Beck looks to center, steered away. Back to the point to Downey. Shot on the goal. Save in front. Loose. Shot. Score! Number 15, Tim Ragel with a backhander from about 15 feet out to the left of Pollock. And just like that, the Wildcats are back out in front. It's 3-2. to two. And Clayton will be sending out the line of Jamie Hedeba along with Matt Glass and Bob Holcroft. He's going to put Holcroft up on the wing for this power play. Petraka and Batista at the points. Holcroft with a puck in front to Hedema. Jamie Hedema has it. Back on the left point to Petraka. Petraka back to Hedema. Hedema holds. Left wing. Right point to Batista. Batista shot. Knocked down in front. It's loose. Shot safe. Score! Score! Bobby Holcroft! I think Coach, Coach Clayton John knew something out there by putting Holcroft out there. He was setting up the play beautifully. Head him back to the point, shot in front. The, the puck was bouncing around, and Holcroft got it and, and shot it into the far corner away from goaltender Margarotti. Beautiful play. Great play by the youngster. This game is tied up at three. And the time of the goal comes at 14 minutes and 29 seconds, and just like that, we well, got a tie hockey game once again, and you couldn't ask for a more entertaining game than we're getting here this afternoon at the Ice Pavilion. Now it's into the zone as they backhand it out of the goal, taken there by Joe Batista. Batista starts out. Here come the Lions, three on two. He's got Glass and Hedema with him. Batista into the zone. Around Downey, looks to center, in front, Glass, shot, score! Score! has tied the record and talk about a big goal he's asking for the puck he's getting it his 27th of the season that ties the record for most goals set in 1979 by Tom Horgas and also ties him for most points in a season as that was his 53rd point and you want to talk about a couple of milestone goals Bobby Holcroft getting just his second of the year to tie the game Matt Glass getting the the record tying goal to send the Lions in front. It's four to three. Well, with those two points, that means that Matt Glass now holds the single season record for most points by a Penn State Nittany Lion. He breaks the record set by Tommy Horgas. He now has 54 points on the season. So congratulations, Matt Glass. As Paul Lafon carries it out for Villanova, who are now shorthanded. One minute to play in the period. Here comes John Granda. Granda into the zone. He's got Brody with him. Granda shot wide. Granda with it again. Behind the goal. Shot. Saved by Margiotti. And he hangs on as Granda tried to stuff her. He came around the goal and tried to stuff it in to the right of Margiotti. But Margiotti would have none of that. He covered the post well. Now the puck comes along to the left wing. Shot on the goal is... Stopped in front by Greg Smith. Here come the Lions. Hedema dumps it into the zone. De Stefano will chase it after it. Puck behind the goal. Glenn De Stefano to Matt Glass. Now back to the point to Greg Smith. Smith shot on the net. Blocked down in front by the Wildcats. Hedema has it. Looks to center. Back to the point. Glenn De Stefano backhander. Stopped in front by Downey. And here come the Wildcats out of the zone with just six seconds to go. Downey across the blue line. Downey on the backhand. Looks to get it back to. John Lammers, he can't control the pass, but it's academic as the second period ends. And the Penn State Nittany Lions have moved out in front at the end of two very entertaining periods of hockey here at the Ice Pavilion. It's Penn State 4, Villanova 3. And we'll be back to recap the second period right after this break. So let's take a timeout. You're listening to Penn State Hockey on FM 91. Now the faceoff will be just to the right of the Villanova goal, Glenn Stefano will go for it there with Tim Curran as referee Jim Zarnick getting set to drop the puck. Puck is faced off and controlled by Villanova. Behind their own goal, Quinlan. Quinlan tries to get it up along the left wing boards. Good forward check in there by Matt Glass. Centers in front. Stefano has it. He looks to center. Now it comes back to the point. Batista. Joe Batista off the boards to Matt Glass. Matt Glass with a puck. Centers towards the net. Back to the point to Petraka. A drive. Save. Rebound. Shot. Score! <laughs> that
That was Glenn DiStefano as he tucked it in the short side to the left of goaltender Margiotti. The Lions now with a 6-4 lead in the hockey game. Beautiful play. Uh, took a wicked bounce. Uh, Smith took a shot from the point, deflected off the backboards, right out to DiStefano, who was standing all alone on the right side of the net, shoot it in, easy goal. That's DiStefano's second goal of the night, his 25th of the season. He's also got an assist in this game. The Lions take the first two-goal lead of the night. And the crowd is really excited now. Dave Brody with Roger First and Bobby Holcroft out there. Puck goes into the Villanova zone. First digs in after it along with Downey as that wiped out the remainder of the penalty. And now a whistle and some, oh wow, and a late hit there by Billy Quinlan. He came in on top of Roger First, or Dave Brody, excuse me. And uh, that was a, uh, a lot of a action little questionable behind the Villanova goal. I don't know what penalties we're going to get out of this, if any at all, but Billy Quinlan really came in. It took a two-hander to the back of Dave Brody behind the uh, Villanova goal. Quinlan behind the goal, fires it, tries to fire it up along the left wing boards. It's knocked away. Wildcats do control the puck. It comes out to Mike Blackwell. Blackwell feeds it up on the left wing. It's knocked away there. And Bump back into the zone. Now Roger first with it as the puck comes out. Ahead to Jamie Hedema. Two on one with Matt Glass. Hedema and Glass. Matt Glass in. Shot. And it goes wide as Matt Glass had an opportunity but was unable to get a good shot on goal. Now here comes Glass again with the puck. Back to Blackwell. Mike Blackwell. Shot on the net. Save Margiotti. And he hangs on on the eye high wrist shot from the right side by Mike Blackwell. I think that one was deflected by his own defenseman. Uh, he tried to knock it down with a glove and tipped it a little bit to the right of the goaltender and that made a nice save on the play. Blackwell, just a wrist shot from the point, no slap shot, trying to be accurate and uh, just nobody in front to tip or screen. Quinlan for Villanova at center ice. Looks to carry into the zone. He gets around Holcroft, now around Petraka, looks to center. Great play there by Joe Batista. Fine defensive play by the junior defenseman from Penn Hills, Pennsylvania. Shot on the goal, blocked away in front. Petraka goes in after it. Can't control the puck. He's ridden off the, the disc there by Mark LaFond. The Lions do control, but lose it. Back to the right point. Shot on the net, deflected in front, knocked away by Bill Carey. Now another shot. Oh, and that one goes through the crease. And Ponick able to keep it out of the net. The Stefano fights for it along with Humphreys. The puck does come to center ice. Rodney Lane has it there for Villanova, but now it's stolen by Bobby Holcroft as he fights for it along with John Lammers. And the puck is into the Villanova zone, stays in as DeStefano flips it up into the crowd. We've got a face-off with 2.33 to go in the hockey game, 6-4 to four Penn State. Villanova again is going to have to do some work to win this game. Two minutes left. Okay, puck is into the Lions zone. Dan Humphreys fights for it along with Batista. Now the Wildcats have it in front. Shot wide of Pollock. And the puck is controlled by John Granda, Joe Granda. And he gets it out along the left wing boards. He's got Brody in front. To Brody. In. Shot. Oh, wide. Just over the top of the net. Brody with a great chance. As Villanova controls the faceoff, they've got the puck at center ice now. Here comes Bufana. Knocked away by Glass. Into the zone. Glass digging in after it. Looks to center, he had Roger First alone in the slot. Now to Hedema, Hedema shot on the goal wide. Roger First controls the rebound. Centers it in front, Hedema with it again. Shot, save, in front, Glass, shot. And another save by Margiotti. Beautiful glove save by Margiotti. Glass was all alone in front and he came up quick with a quick glove. Along with John Lammers, but Villanova's able to get the puck out of the zone. Good play by Greg Smith as he stole the puck from Mark Lafon. Greg Smith to Hedema. Hedema back to Smith. Shot. Save. Puck goes loose along the left wing boards, and it's fired out of the zone all the way down the ice, but they blow the ice in a way. This has, without a doubt, been the most entertaining hockey game of the year here for the fans at the Ice Pavilion, and it can be the most entertaining game and the most satisfying game as far as the Lions and their fans are concerned if they are able to hold on to this two-goal lead with only 24 seconds to go. The face-off now will be with Buffano and Glenn, St and Glenn DiStefano. DiStefano controls it, gets it back to Batista. He backhands it along the right-wing boards, goes behind the Villanova goal, while Colcroft has it in front, the grandest shot. 
Backed away, Holcroft with it, looks to center. Robbie Holcroft with 10 seconds left. On the point to Petraka, crosses to Batista. Batista, a drive, score! I think it was John Grand in front with a tip. A blast from Joe Batista on the right point. There was a screen in front. It may have been deflected home by Granda, but regardless, the Lions with a three-goal lead. That's all she wrote with just seven seconds to go in the game. The crowd loves it. The Lions love it. They are within seven seconds of defeating their biggest rival, Villanova, right here at a very enthusiastic ice pavilion. One second to go. They lead by three. And this certainly has been an outstanding effort by Coach Clayton Johns' Nittany Lions here this afternoon. Very entertaining the game. The puck is though. dropped. I'd the say whistle it. goes. The siren roars, and it's all over. The Penn State Nittany Lions have defeated the Villanova Wildcats here this afternoon at the Penn State Ice Pavilion by a final score of 7-4 to four as the Lions now mob their goaltender, Jimmy Pollock. And you really have to give him a lot of credit, Jeff. He really kept them in there in the first period with four or five outstanding saves. And, you know, when your goaltender comes up with some strong play like that, it just inspires the rest of the team. And, and they showed it the rest of the way as they outscored the Wildcats 6-3 uh, to three from that point on after the 1-1 one -one tie at the end of one. But you have to give Pollock a lot of credit. Glenda Stefano with a great game. Uh, Matt Glass with his usual superlative effort, Greg Smith and uh, Dino Petraka and Joe Batista on defense. It was a team effort, uh, 100%, and that's exactly the kind of effort that they've been getting.